Should she feel responsible for everything? Control. Control? Mm hmm Does she need to control everything all the time? Yeah. Yeah? Why is that? To stop getting hurt. To stop getting hurt. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So was that hurt from a past relationship? Yeah. Uh-huh. I want you to see that relationship and knowing that we all contract for our challenges. What was the purpose of her going through that relationship? Strength. Strength. Uh-huh. So rather than the need to be in control all the time, Shouldn't she take on board the strength that she gained from that relationship? Mm. Mm -hmm. So take a look at her body. Is she holding any guilt in her body? No. No. Very good. I want to ask about her standing her ground. She seems to have a problem standing her ground. Weak. Mm -hmm. Feel weak. Uh -huh. Why does she... Why does she feel weak? I want other people to be happy. You want other people to be happy? Mm -hmm. But can you not see that you can't make everybody happy all the time? And trying to make people happy all the time, how does that make you feel? Tired. Tired, uh -huh. So let's just remind ourselves to feed ourselves first and to look after ourselves and make ourselves happy first. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Why do you feel that you can't do that? I can't. Uh huh. Where in a body is. Is she holding that feeling that she can't do that? Her heart. Her heart, uh -huh. So let's connect with her heart now and release the door that locks all that knowledge where she can begin to look after herself first. Three, two, and one. <coughs> Opening that door now and letting all that guilt and that responsibility go because it's not her responsibility, is it? It's not her problem. And now that her heart is clear and fresh, she has the opportunity to make new decisions for herself first. Very good. Tell me, what was the purpose of that previous relationship? You said it was to be become stronger? Physical strength. Physical strength? Mm. Uh-huh. And tell me about the dream that she has on this American ranch. I want you to travel to that dream. And just imagine now that you're in that dream and you're dreaming about this ranch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's happening. It's a horse ranch. It's a horse ranch. Mm -hmm. Is it from a previous life? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Well, let's go travelling towards that life now. Go down that silver thread all the way down to that life. Were you male or female? Female. Female. Uh-huh. And did you live on that ranch? Yeah. Yeah. Was it the north, the south, the east or the west of America? North. The north? Mm-hmm. Did you live there alone, or do you live there with others? Others. Others, uh-huh. How old are you? Twenty. You're twenty? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And why does that memory keep coming forward now, of her being twenty years old on that ranch? She loved it. She loved it? Mm. Uh-huh. So when this dream and this memory comes forward, what message is it trying to say to her? Where does she get the dream? What's her favourite place? It's her favourite place. Mm. Uh huh. So she just travels to her favourite place in her dream. She should. 
She should be there. Uh-huh. And how would she possibly get there? How would she make her way to a ranch in America? Uh-huh. Does she fly alone or does she fly with others? With Esme. With Esme. Mm -hmm. Very good. Tell me about the relationship today. Is that a good relationship? No. No. Uh-huh. And what is she learning from this relationship? Patience, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Has she had previous lives with this person that she's having this? Yeah? Yeah? Mm -hmm. And describe that life to me. Was, what were they partners and was he male then? Yeah. Uh-huh. So what happened in that life? A brother. There was a brother in a previous life? Uh-huh. And what's the purpose of them sharing this life today, part, this part of her life? To learn. Uh-huh. What is she learning spe specifically? Patience. Patience. Uh-huh. So will he be going with her to America? No. Mm -hmm. I also want to ask about the stray dogs. Why does she always collect stray dogs? Okay. That's her caring side. Mm -hmm. And she tells me that she has very, very vivid dreams. What's happening there? These dreams, she says, are so vivid. Hmm? Life, real life. Real life? Mm. Uh -huh. Is this the real life to come? Or is it symbolic in a different way? Are they messages to her? It's happening now. It's happening now. When I, when I, right now. Uh huh. The dream, the feeling. Mm hmm. And when she has that feeling, what does it? It's like a balloon being inflated, like something's. You're like a balloon inside. being inflated. Uh-huh. And as you drift and float, scanning that dream, what are you doing in that dream? I'm in a garden. Uh-huh. And allow the dream to unfold. What are you doing in that garden? Looking at a fence. Looking at a fence. Uh-huh. So what's the reason you're looking at that fence? Can you not see over it? No. Uh-huh. Knowing that you can see from different angles, you can raise above, raise yourself above, so you can have an aerial view. What's over the other side of that fence? A big country. A big country. Houses uh -huh. and greenery. Big country houses and greenery. Mm -hmm. So is the fence a symbol of a blockage at the minute? She can't get over the fence to the big country. I can't, I can't see. I can't see through it. You can't see through it. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I can't see through it. I just see. Fence. You just see that fence and that yeah. blockage. Yeah. But if her guides could give her a message. Could you ask them to work in her dream state, to give her the message on how to get over that fence? Will they work with her? 
Travel. Travel. To America. Travel to America. Mm. Mm -hmm. When she travels to America, yeah, is she going to work over there? Yeah. Yeah. Children. And have children. Mm. Yeah. So she's going to have more children. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can you see the person that's going to be with her that she has these children with? Is he tall? Is he short? What does he look like? Tall. Tall. And I know that um, it's difficult for a time frame, but when is she going to America then? Is it this year or next year? Or when? 30. 30? When she's 30? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, now that we've come to the end of the session, is there anything else that we need to look in the body or are we done? Mm. We're done. Mm. Okay, thank you for that. So I want you just to... Make your way back to the room.